from this most iconic of venues, it really is the ultimate stage befitting the ultimate fixture. The teams then, Juventus against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. The familiar strains of the anthem serving to raise the levels of expectation even higher. Juventus shape up in a 4-5-1. Yeah, it's a formation geared to make life tough for the opposition, though they can't afford their front man to become a bit detached and isolated. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Um, I'll go for Gonzalo Higuain, a striker with such an assured touch and whose modus operandi is kind of rolling big centre-backs and unleashing his considerable firepower. And I mean, this guy can finish. He can really finish. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Cavani pushes it out wide. He's left his man. A Tweedy tries to get it forward quickly. Quadrado. Basali. Pjanic. Passes it through. He's through the middle. And Quadrado! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Quadrado certainly did his part with a lovely pass, and unfortunately, the loveliness ceased there. Juventus certainly won't want to look back and, and dwell on that. It was a good chance, though. Now it's Cavani. Rugani goes looking. Pjanic. Dybala plays it out to the flank. Quadrado... Looking up to see who wants it. Iguain looks like a good ball through. It's a great ball. Douglas Costa! Oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Keeper has beaten it away. Forward it goes. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? He's got away. Lovely feet. Now the pass. Cut out in the nick of time. Pjanic. Now it's Dybala. Barzali tries lifting it over. A chance! Great tackle, he had to get that right. Looks to slip you it could see through. he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Cavani, out to the left it goes. Neymar is desperately calling for it out wide. Neymar, Neymar with a shot! And that would have been some goal. Neymar can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and obviously refreshing. Di Maria with the ball through, gets into some space. 
Big chance, corner. It's one! That was venomous. Matuidi tries a through ball. Cavani looks like a good ball through. Can he get the shot away? And it's been given away. Matuidi. Dybala. Matuidi. Pjanic. He's got options out wide. He's left his man. Has a pop! He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Oh, terrible. He's gone for it. Goal! Juventus! are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki-taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Juventus take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Neymar. It's Neymar! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Dybala. Now it's Cavani. He's through, now is he in? Shoots! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Now the pass. Looks to clip it forward. Quadrado. There are a few waiting for it. Loose ball, who's going to get that? There is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Uh, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. So we're just settling back into this second half. Paris Saint-Germain don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first. If they don't grab an early goal in this second half, they can't hold back, though. Bosali. And it's Quadrado. Quadrado conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. In it, heads it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. It so nearly came off for it. Big chance! He's looking to get there first. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Paris Saint-Germain have conceded a penalty here. Dispatched with certainty. Well, that's the way to take a penalty. Stand up, pick your spot, and blast it home. <laughs> Juventus have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them 
so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Alexandro. Now it's Dybala. Pjanic. Juventus uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Daniel Alves, plotting from out on the right-hand side, looks to dink one in. Danny Alves needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Good clearance and very necessary. Fine defending there. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Higuain passes it through. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Aimed long and direct. Alexandro. Matuidi. Higuain. Spreads it towards the left. Going through. Into the box. Well read, he sorted that out. That's not going to make it. Dinks one in. Dinks over the top. Oh, he's got that one wrong. Daniel Alves. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Now it's Higuain, just brushed off the ball there. Thiago Silva goes looking. And it's Higuain. Quadrado. Higuain with a long pass out wide. Daniel Alves. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Neymar. Neymar, good run, where to from here? Neymar is fouled. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. That's brilliant! Oh, that is a gem! Unbelievable. And they are dragging it back! Game on again! And he's produced a beauty. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Quadrado. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Played back in. Chance! Forward it goes. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And it's Verratti. Verratti with the ball through. And time is up. Paris Saint-Germain moves by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, obviously they'll be disappointed with the loss, but 
you know, they'll be back on the training ground working through their problems that will undoubtedly have been highlighted.